Hi family, I am back with another fall meal. Today I'm making my cheese and broccoli soup. So my ingredients that I have here for you guys, I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients. I have some flour, some cheddar cheese, some broccoli, some half and half. Usually I'll use milk, but since I had some half and half left, I'm using the half and half instead onions, some butter, and some chicken stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin to prepare the meal. Once again, these are all the ingredients. I know some people use celery and some use carrots in their soup, but I will not be using carrots or celery, but I will be adding some garnish of bacon, but it's not gonna be pork bacon is going to be turkey bacon but that will be the last garnish for the soup I'm gonna go ahead and get into cooking the soup so first I'm gonna melt some butter in the pan I'm going to add my onions. And you guys, I'm not giving you the measurements for the ingredients because I'm going to have the ingredients and how much I'm using in the beginning of the video. I always put the ingredients and how much I'm using for the ingredients in the beginning of the video so you guys should have already got the measurements for all the ingredients for the soup right now I'm just cooking down my onions in the pot once my onions cook down in the pot then I'll be adding my flour I'll be making a roux give it a thick consistency for the soup Next, I'll be adding in some flour. Chicken stock. And I'll let it cook down until it has a creamy consistency or have a, a thickness to it. You guys, I love this broccoli and cheese soup in the winter. I love it. I first started eating it when I was working at a job and I used to go to the Subway next door. The Subway next door, they had a soup, a cheddar cheese and broccoli soup and it was good. So I used to buy it all the time. But yeah, you guys, I love the Subway chicken and broccoli soup. So I came home and start uh, making it myself and I love it. To me, mine tastes better than Subway's, but of course we all think our food tastes better than other people's food, but I think my soup is a little better than Subway's, but I still like Subway's soup also. So I just added my half and half also. Um, the roux had already started to thicken, so I've, I just added in my half and half. I'm gonna let this cook down a little bit and then I'll begin to add my ingredients. I had to change out my spoon, you guys. I had a small spoon, so I decided to get my large wooden spoon. And while this is cooking down, I'm gonna go ahead and put me a few pieces of bacon in the oven. Once again, I'm using turkey bacon for the garnish on top. I use about three or four strips of bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the oven while my roux in my half and half and my ends are cooking I'm going to go ahead and put the bacon in the oven
All right, now I'm adding my broccoli in. Now I'm gonna add my cheese. And that's a good bit of cheese I'm adding in, but most than likely, I'm gonna add some more cheese in later, once it cooked down some. I like a good creamy and cheesy cheddar cheese and broccoli soup. So I'll be adding more cheese in, in a bit. And right now I'm gonna go ahead and season it with some salt and pepper and some garlic powder. So here's my salt. Add my salt. And once again with the seasoning, you just season the taste, you just season it and taste it and see how it tastes to you. You need to add more, you can add more. Add in my pepper. And add a little more, not that much. I'm gonna add a little more salt as well. Just a little bit. Because the bacon is gonna give it a saltiness when I add the bacon in, so. And I'm gonna add in some garlic powder as well. Add some garlic powder. I'm going to add some more butter as well. I pulled it off the eye because it began to ball too much, but I'm going to add it back to the eye in a, in a bit. Add my butter. I'm adding in some more cheese. As I said, I love a good cheesy soup. So, I'm adding in some more cheese to the soup. And I'll also be cooking some garlic bread to go along with the soup. So I'm about to put the garlic bread inside of the oven. Now I'm adding my garlic bread to the pan. Alright you guys, so here is our garlic bread and cheddar cheese and broccoli soup. And now for the taste test you guys. All right, you guys, my kids are about to do a taste test to let you guys know how it tastes. How it tastes, James? Good. You can taste it with the bread, the garlic bread. Good. Good. Nobody put bread in the mouth with the soup. You just eat the soup by itself. Oh, she, good job, Rachel. She dipped the soup in the, uh, the bread in the soup. How it tastes with the garlic bread? Good. All right, you guys. So they like the, they like the cheddar broccoli soup with garlic bread. 
I'll see you guys in the next farm meal. Good? <laughs> oh, Essence, enjoy it. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Blessings, love, and peace. I hope you guys try the recipe.